With a little more than a month to go before Election Day, there's another new ad out the in the debate ad. over Proposition 1, that's the ballot initiative, to legalize historical horse racing machines in Idaho. Joe Paris takes a look at its claims in this Verify report. The latest ad from Idaho United against Prop 1 takes aim at the opposing campaign, Save Idaho Horse Racing. This ad claims that they are being deceptive, but are they? Let's verify. I worked with and owned horses all my life. First, a little background on the ad's narrator, Ken Andrus. Andrus has long been an outspoken critic of historical horse racing machines. In fact, in 2015, he was the House floor sponsor for the bill that ultimately ended HHR machines in Idaho. Now, Andrus is the chairman for the group paying for the ad, Idaho United against Prop 1. Supporters of Prop 1 are running deceptive ads. This is in reference to an ad put out recently by Save Idaho Horse Racing. As we've covered, that ad included an edited clip from our newscast. Verifies those claims are accurate. Which changed the meaning of what our Mark Johnson said by editing out the word if from the original newscast. Verifies that those claims are accurate. That ad was polled and we reached out to Save Idaho Horse Racing about the edited clip. They responded with a statement that said in part, in no way did we intend to mislead. The original KTVB report did indeed verify that all of our ads claims were true and that was the point we were making. If you listen to the story, the original audio is ambiguous. We heard the anchor say that those claims are accurate. Due to this misunderstanding, the campaign withdrew the ad. Prop 1 is an unlimited expansion of gambling statewide. Prop 1 is not a blanket expansion for gambling, but it does allow for the unlimited expansion of historical horse racing machines at qualified venues. According to the language in Prop 1, racetracks that host at least eight live horse race days annually or places authorized to simulcast races would be eligible to house as many HHR machines as they want. I know the people behind Prop 1, and they've made a lot of promises to schools and the racing community, but they take 18 times more money than schools get. As we verified before, yes, promoters of Prop 1 would be given a piece of the HHR funds that equates to 18 times more than what would go to the public school income fund. On that note, though, the owners of Treasure Valley Racing, the group that operates Le Bois in Boise, They've pledged to commit 100% of all net profits from racing operations, including profits generated from historical horse racing, to a foundation they set up to serve rural communities across Idaho. Prop 1 is not about education, saving jobs, or saving the horse racing industry. It's about gambling. Yes, that is true. It is about legalizing horse racing machines. And thanks to Joe for that. You can check out the other installments in our Verify series on our website, ktvb.com.